Hey guys, as always, welcome to Applebee's, my favorite lesson I ever learned from Clint Smith, how that affects you, plus wisdom from a fortune cookie. <laughs> yeah, let's talk about that. In this episode, I am going to share with you a single lesson that I learned from Clint Smith. It is going to help a lot of people avoid a lot of trouble, and then, then at the end, I do have a little bit of wisdom from a recent Chinese food excursion. I found it in a fortune cookie and how all that affects y'all. So buckle up, this should be fun. Today's episode is brought to you by CMMG. Shout out to Warmer Weather and my Mark 47 Banshee. It's an AR that takes AK mags. It's fun, it runs like a Swiss clock and it's made in Boonville, Missouri, backed by a rockin' warranty I love mine. Pick out your Mark 40 Banshee and a whole lot more over at CMMG Inc. To each of y'all, thank you for every thumbs up. Y'all have been crushing that lately, so thank you. All right, y'all know I love Clint Smith. I went out to Thunder Ranch twice last summer. One of my favorite things that I own is I have one of Clint Smith's, Clint Smith and Heidi Smith's, tags from their old Nova, and this is really, really cool to me. I mean, it's a, it's very valuable to me. I love it, and so I love Clint Smith. There's a lot of lessons to be learned from him. Years of watching him and his videos. I can't stress enough. It's important, and you're going to learn a ton. Now, when I was back there at Thunder Ranch in October, he said something in the middle of a class. It was kind of a throwaway comment. I was in a counter sniper course getting all sorts of stuff. We're sitting in a classroom. And he said one thing that I use from that day forward, I use it every day. Because a lot of the stuff you're going to learn from him is tactics and actual stuff that you're going to use maybe on the range or in your home in a defense situation. But this, what I'm about to give you, I don't even remember the way he said it. I know what he said, but I don't even remember the actual words. It was a throwaway comment that bang, it stuck with me and I'm bringing it home because I want each of y'all to also get home. I, and I mean this, I want y'all to be safe. And this next statement is going to maybe help a lot of folks avoid a lot of nonsense. Clint said this right in the middle of a counter sniper course, talking about this and that, he said today, and he said today is the last day you ever get in any sort of verbal altercations out in the street. From here forward, no more sticking up your middle finger, no more road rage. From here forward, there is no more jacking your jaw. And I don't remember the way he said it, but it was basically that, that we avoid conflict at all costs. Now, I know he didn't mean that, and I certainly don't mean lay down. I'm not talking about you know being a, being a, a limp rug or laying down and being a wet noodle and just take, let people walk over top of it. Not at all, push all that aside. I'm talking about avoiding at all costs, avoidable trouble and getting home to your families. The older I get, and I'm a lot older than y'all think I am, the older I get, the more I see the importance of making it home at the end of the day. I want the same for you. A, a big time, like, and I mean this, big time trouble is avoidable. How many people are in some state or federal prison right now because they were disrespected. You disrespected my mullet. I'm going to take it out on you in the street. And then bad things happen and you're now in front of a judge and bad things could be easily, that quickly, avoided. And I want to share that with you. I've been working on this video in my mind for a long, long time. And I think it's simple, but oh so relevant, especially in today's climate, especially if you are concealed carrying. How many times have something that avoidable happened and it moves from blows to actual lethal that quickly? So I just want to tell you this. I learned it from Clint Smith. Get your middle finger back where it belongs and stop jacking your jaw in traffic. We have a channel full right here. Y'all, I know y'all. Y'all are a bunch of meat eating, ready to rock and roll, ready to rumble. Yeah, troublemakers out there. So I want to tell you this, simmer it down and get home to your family. I know you've been eating meat. I know you're tough. I know all of y'all are, a bunch of tough guys and tough gals. Again, second time, I'm not talking about rolling over. I am talking simply for the third time about getting home to your family. So it's important for these days and this times that we are living in. I wrote this down, no more altercations, no more road rage and never again stick up your middle finger at anybody or whatever your version is, jacking your jaw at somebody, throwing up two hands and doing that thing that we do in traffic, getting into it verbally, standing in line somewhere, avoid all of it at all costs. I think that is what's called wisdom. 
And then we get to this thing. I'm not big on, oh, you know, the universe is speaking to me because I went out for Chinese food. No, that's MSG working its way through your system. Nobody's speaking to you. However, I saved this. I've had this for a, a little bit now. I've been saving it. Went out for Chinese the other day, and, and this, I, it, oh, it goes in so well, and I saved it. Johnny, what does it say? Well, it says this. Courtesy is the password to safety. How easy is it to say, sir, ma'am, I'm sorry. Just being courteous, excuse me, thank you. Oh, I'm sorry you bumped into me. I'm sorry I bumped into you, especially where there's alcohol involved. Just lay low, be courteous, and live to fight another day. To anyone that's against me or my deep, deep Chinese wisdom from my cold, dead hands. Bye.